Hello and welcome to Tawani's Pilgrimage. Today we are in Reign of Fear Crystal Caverns and we're going to do the next stage of the quest uh, from last time. So let's go ahead and uh, hail our good friend the captain. And in between I did do uh, the uh, the rest of the quest, that other quest on the other characters. I think I hit 99 during that and then I did, went ahead and upgraded all my gear with all the stuff we had looted in uh, the previous episode. So that is, uh, <laughs> that happened in between. And he says, I cannot risk a Rhaegor attack on a frost stone. While our will is strong, these stone walls won't withstand a horde of orc invaders. It pains me to just suggest it, but I think a truce is in order. Or if you come for me for other reasons, and we were gonna wanna say truce, what truce? The uh, Rhaegor orcs mostly keep to mining. The fact that they're sending forces to Froststone suggests that they have something. We have something they want. What is that? What that is, I don't know. But whatever it is, it will be the key in bargaining for peace. I need a neutral party to approach the Rhaegor and determine their terms for a truce, as both outsiders and a. Pr uh, both an, as, as both, <laughs> yeah, I can't talk today. As both an outsider and a proven ally to the Coldane, I think you'd work well as an emissary. I will be your emissary. Uh, your goal would be simple, but without not without danger. Find a messenger of the Rhaegor clan and speak to him for our desire for peace. It's best to keep your dialogue neutral and open. All right, so we have to go find the messenger. Uh, I think I have everything on all the other guys already, so this should be fairly, uh, I don't know, it might take a little longer than I'd like, but, uh, let's see if we can see him on the map. I remember killing him a few times, so he's, he spawns somewhere around here. I don't know if he's got a static location or a kind of a, uh, random location. And I did kill a few more names, uh, in between when I was doing the other one, so... That was, uh, we're getting stronger. <laughs> Since we hit 99, we're, I feel like we're getting really, really strong. All right, got that. Let's go ahead and fizz up. And we're going to go this way here. Don't fall off the edge. Every time I come this way, this guy's just like catapulting off the edge. There we go. Go up here. See if we can slowly, like, oh, of course. Where are we at? All right. Here, I'm just gonna run them one by one because this is this is like a, the one of these annoying little curves right here, but right here, and then right up this way. Just so much easier to run them one by one. A lot of the time, honestly. Oh, Jesus! I did it again. Uh, at least I only have to run this one, but uh, it's mostly related to how fast I run it, but I, I just can't play the game without being able to move fast. All right, re -invis, and we're good to go. All right, let's go through here, go through here, go down here, and then we're just going to kind of jump off the ledge right here and run up the side. There we go, perfect. And then uh, go down this tunnel. There's an oracle. There's a watchman and a watchman. We're just gonna ignore them. <laughs> gonna, we're gonna try to go for what we actually need. Uh, we got a named right there. We got a scout right here. So let's get this scout. Let's get him. I'm not gonna have these guys follow me there. So let's get her backed off a little bit and dot him up. There we go. Ooh, you know what I forgot to do? Reactive. Burn and reactive. That's what I, uh, I went AFK for a little while in between episodes for a lunch. And, uh, yeah, that's what happens. All right, we are going to... I'm going to try shading this guy. Can I get him from this angle? 
Last time I got two. And it wasn't too hard, but... Yeah, I can't... He's. I think he's unaffected by it, right? So... Let's see if I can... Let's see if Bard will have any better luck. No, he's unaffected. And I don't think I can see his friend... Oh, I can. So what we're going to do is we're going to silence this guy. That landed, and we're going to lull him. Pull this guy. There we go, perfect. And cut. Awesome. That actually worked pretty well. Being able to uh, just sneak out there on the edge and uh, and uh, lull that guy. This guy's not too hard, right? He's just a normal, normal dude, but uh, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna heal on him. There we go. Definitely uh, could be a problem if we. Or as well. Like, when we first came here, I think it was like 95, 96 is when we first came to this zone. Like, it was pretty hard, but as we leveled up to the actual, you know, almost the end of the levels for this uh, this expansion. Doing pretty good. What the heck is this trash? Alright. Uh, so this is like negative everything. A cursed... <laughs> grin of malignance. What on earth is this? Why would anybody want that? All right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna loot it on twenty. I'm sure there's like something to it that I'm I'm missing, but negative twelve thousand hit points. I mean, what's going on there? And this is a range item. I'm gonna send this to Nilv because I think Tawani already has one. All right, now we can go right here and grab. A this guy, this watchman. And we're gonna fight this guy. We probably could have just did this past him, but uh I'm gonna try to be a little cautious on my plan because we have to go up, I believe. Uh, let's take a look at tracking real quick. See if there's anything on there we go. Alright, attack off, attack off is because we're gonna have to do that weird you know going up and down kind of thing that we were doing in the last episode all the mobs are dead down there oh there's one somebody else in the zone no all right they're not gonna make it through that for some unknown reason there we go And reinvest. All right, let's keep going. So we got to go down, go up. It's, it's a little counterintuitive, but uh, there's that guy. Let's look up here. Cause, uh, effectively, we just have to find the messenger, and I, I can't believe he would be a static spawn. See these even up actually that might yeah there is a messenger right here so he is above us and to the left so we're just gonna keep going up watchmen miners quest guy quest guy oracle all right let's break follow Oh, this is the one we go down this way. Watchman Miner. And we go up around here. And we go there. So it's kind of a, a little bit of a bit of effort, right? And auto follow is not gonna not gonna work here at all, so. But uh, with these, you know, fixed duration, 
invis the risk is not that bad as long as you don't, you don't actually hit a wrong button or something or accelerate beyond uh what you need to get past that so there we go and oh, everybody's up here all right let's uh follow reinvis clearly that guy didn't aggro all right a rigor let's see he's an oracle is everybody still going all right so this is about the z level that uh, we need to be at for the messenger because he is ahead and to the left so if we look at the map, he is, which way is she facing? She's facing this way. So he's over in this general area. So if we keep going up, we should get, eventually find him. And there's a watchman. Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm going the wrong way because I turned around, yeah. Up, there's the miner, watchman. All right, let's break follow. Go back down. Great right here. I feel like this might not be the right way. Hmm. Let's keep going with this, though. It might have been easier just to run back here from uh, from Eastern Waste so that we'd start at the beginning. But uh, we'll see here. And let's do a manual follow. All right, straight ahead and above us. So if we keep going this direction. There is a miner, a miner. Let's check over here, a digger. Oh, really? Now oh, they're all stuck. <laughs> Jeez. All right, follow. There's a miner, 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 miner. A digger. I believe the diggers are a placeholder firm named. An oracle. An overseer and a messenger. All right, here we go. That's what we wanted. Con him indifferently. Hail him. All right. Hail him. Say uh, truce. Say truce. All right. I guess I'm going to have to do it like multiple times here. Yeah. Truce. Oh, never mind. I can just truce. Easy. <laughs> All right. So once he's engaged, you can still say truce to him and still get the credit for the quest. So that's good. All right. Loot a folded note times three. So Tawani, Milv, and Ketka. There we go. And then a Rigor doll. Uh, I don't know what that's for yet, but there we go. And what do we have to do? Take the captain back to the cat <laughs> take the note back to the captain. All right. Uh, that's easy enough because I have a campfire right there. So as soon as we're out of combat, we'll go back to the captain. All right. We're back here at the captain. Let's go ahead and take the note to him. So the folded note, grab it, hand it over. Completed the task, speak with him. Let's go and hail him. 
Uh, see so here, the captain carefully refolds a note as he begins begins to speak. A secret meeting has been called between the note's author and Klein Rigor. It would appear that the two have struck some sort of bargain, but the terms and conditions have changed. If the orcs won't tell us what they're up to, then I suppose we may have to find out for ourselves. According to the note, the rendezvous will take place tonight in the Eastern Waste, near the cavern's secret entrance. All right. So we head to the location in the note. So we need to go back outside to Eastern Waste and I think the tunnel entrance to this uh, thing. So I'm going to head out to the Eastern Waste and go from there. All right, we're outside the, uh, the fort now. We just need to find the rendezvous point. Some actual people here. That yeah, looks cool. All right, let's go back around here. That is the guy where I think we're looking for. Possibly. Let's see. Uh, where is the rendezvous point? All right, I looked on Alakazam and it is actually outside the fort. So let's go over here. There we go. All right, so there is a trick here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right here. I'm gonna break follow on these guys. I'm going to take Tawani over here. I'm going to put all the mercenaries on passive. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to this guy. I'm going to, all right, we got to speak to him. I'm going to break this. I'm going to hail him. And then we should get attacked, right? So I'm going to Im imitate death. Done, right? So I'm going to then go over here and I'm going to hail him. I got to get the right spot. Hail him. There we go. Fade, fade, and fade. Now we're going to take the Take her over here, right spot. Gonna hail him. Uh, we need to break invis. Hail him, updated. I'm gonna do totem. Then I'm gonna stand up over here on him and there we go. There we go, burn, mend, cause I, Reactive. Reactive. And where is the stupid totem cookie? There we go. And where's Tawani? There we go. Task stage complete. On everybody. So a little bit of a trick there. Ah, uh, that is on the Alex Zam page. Uh, it says uh, if you're doing it as a group too, uh, you can kind of cheese it that way. All right, so now we have to head back down uh, to the captain. So my campfire is on timeout, five minutes. So I'm going to head down there and uh, we'll talk to the captain when we get there. All right, we're back here at the captain. Let's go ahead and uh, hail him. Let's see here. Captain uh, listens to your recount of events that unfolded in the Eastern Waste, so the Frost Giants received a summons as well. It seems whoever wrote those notes hoped to pit the Giants and the Orcs against each other, a mysterious shard sold to both Rygor and the Frost Giants, but given to a neither a clever setup. Indeed, what concerns me is the most of the claims the entire scheme was set up internally by one of my own. 
if a resident of Froststone is behind this, they will pay for with their life. If I begin asking questions, it will surely spark suspicion and it would spook whoever is behind this. I beg your help. Ask questions of Froststone residents and tell someone answers. I guess the giant said something when we hailed him. I just, I, I, I probably didn't see it in the, the commotion. Let's scroll up real quick. Uh, see, emissary Cordum uh, looks upon you and discuss what is the meaning of this. The note said that during the meeting with the Coldane, who holds the shard, do they insult us by sending a human to do their bidding instead? We agreed upon price. We have paid it. The Frost Giants do not wish to renegotiate. Now you will either do hand over the shard or pay for your life. And then he says guards, and that's why we got attacked. All right. That makes a little bit more sense now. All right, so now we need to question dwarves <laughs> inside Froststone until we get uh, get the guy who's who did it. So let's uh, let's get everybody synchronized to the same spot. There we go. All right, so I don't know who the guy is. Like, uh, we're just gonna have to like hail these guys until we uh, find one. So let's just hail everybody until something happens. I suspect that's the only way to find it. And these guys are going to have serious problems following us. I don't think I can help you, Tawani. Aside from the arrival of a few tentacle terrors, business has been unusual. If I hear anything, I'll let you know. All right, guard. I don't think the guards are in on that. Well, Weaver. Let's see here, let's go over here. I think follow on those guys is gonna break soon. Uh cold mist. <laughs> Jeez. No one would be able to read my note. My handwriting is terrible. Alright. Uh there's more of them over, I think. This way. I don't know if we did this guy or not. Jim Shard. Nope. Uh, let's go up. Let's go over. Where is this? The banker? Let's see here. No indication of suspicious transaction transactions. Someone wished to store a mysterious shard here. I would know it. Question about shards. Strange new kissel, crystals mined by the Regor. Doesn't take it er dot to connect the dots here. Uh, Froststone better prepare for the worst. Right, let's go into... Oh my gosh. Here, let's... Uh, there's guard Kevin. She has no knowledge. Let's go in here. I think I did this one here already. Let's go back up. That doesn't even make us move slower. <laughs> All right, what about you? Oh, that was it right there. Cold mists. So uh, with a silent con computation, uh, comp content. <laughs> Before finally speaking, I don't know who, I don't like being the one to incriminate a good friend, but I worry about uh, Daniela's safety. She came with me some time long ago looking for a place to store a chest of, for safekeeping. She wouldn't tell me what was within the chest or how she acquired it, but insist I keep the location secret. What location? I agreed without question since uh, Daniela has been a good friend of mine for some time. I hid the chest in a small storage area beneath the stone floor in my room. That I hardly slept, and the rest was plagued with vivid nightmares filled with horrid creatures. As the days went on, the nightmares intensified and began to night and it blurred the lines between reality. At times, it became hard to tell I was awake or sleeping, 
or if a tentacle terror appeared next to me was really there at all. Nightmares? By the time Danela returned, I was a complete hermit, bound to my room, paralyzed in fear. She appeared to have no concern for my condition. Her sole focus was retrieving the chest. She seemed obsessed with its contents, saying it would bring her much wealth and power. That was the last time I saw my dear friend. What chest? It wasn't long after she retrieved the chest, uh, the nightmares began to subside. Within a few weeks, the waking terrors had completely vanished. Months went by without incident. I secretly worried Daniela, but I couldn't come forward with my concerns. She made me swear to keep her secret. It wasn't until recently when the creatures tainted by fear began appear appearing. I f truly knew something must have horrible happened. Happened? What happened? Uh, for some time I thought the nightmares had returned, but others been noticing the creatures too. The tentacle terrors, the sp spine chiller, spiders lurking through the caverns. I knew Daniela, Dan, Daniela must have been involved, but I refuse to admit it. The remorse for Kondo weeps for her friend. Now I fear it's too late for her. All right, so now we need to go talk to the captain. And he is right here. So go ahead and hail him. So it is true, our own Dan Yella is to blame. The shard she acquired sounds dangerous. It's like to cause some of the recent arrivals spawn chiller and terrors. Uh, she must be brought in for questioning. The shard needs to be located and destroyed before it gets worse. Her room is on the second floor, northwestern portion. All right. Let me uh, get everybody synchronized here. All right, let's go find her room. So he says northwestern portion of the keep. So uh, actually, no, it's the side. Uh, da, da, da. So somewhere over here. So let's look over this direction. Second floor, so we need to go up. Stairs right here. And it's not this one, right? That's the banker. And that's Nadaldia. So maybe this one right over here. Uh, that's Tracy Mistart. All right, this is the room. We're going to walk into it, update the task, and we get attacked by two goons. And uh, we'll go ahead and knock them out real quick here. Two uh, Coldane henchmen. And I left the other two over there because it's, it'll spawn multiples. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, I don't want to deal with six mobs at once. You know what I mean? So. It is a solo task. Whoa. That guy. Where did he go? Alright. Where is he? The joys of the pathing in this terrible, terrible zone. Uh, can we... Well, Laura is over there. Yeah, so he uh, ran off somewhere. There he is. I'll just go ahead and kill him real quick. There we go. Task stage complete. All right, report your findings to the captain. So the captain is right here. Let's go ahead and uh, hail him. All right. Listens carefully to your report before speaking. Uh, was already fled with the shard. It is nowhere to be found. The longer the crystal remains in our cavern, the more exposed we become and fear that it must emanate. Uh, we need to locate the shard and destroy it before the it can 
contaminates. <laughs> it looks weird. Yeah, I don't know why that looks spelled wrong to me. But contaminates our minds as it already has done. All right, so we get 1.19% experience. We get 150 platinum and 2 AA. Bad. And the mission is done. There we go. So we have uh, finished Rigor Reconnaissance now. I believe there's one more in this zone for us to before we can unlock the group mission. And then I think uh, after that, I planned on going to Kale. So uh, thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day.